Now, as we mentioned, all eyes today are on the Supreme Court as the justices meet for the first time with a black female justice, Ketanji Brown Jackson, on the panel. Conservatives still appear to be in control as they return from a watershed session that ended last summer. As Skylar Henry reports, more major decisions could come this year concerning environmental laws, affirmative action, voting, and LGBT rights. The Supreme Court's new term is now underway. The justices began with a case challenging the EPA's authority to regulate wetlands under the Clean Water Act. Many environmentalists are bracing for a decision similar to one from June, when the court limited the agency's ability to reduce the output of power plants. The court has also agreed to hear cases involving voting rights, including one that could give state legislatures near total control over elections, including those for federal offices. Also on the docket is a case revisiting race as a factor in college admissions. Another case involves a Colorado web designer who refuses to build websites for same-sex couples. Both cases could upend decades-old precedents and practices. Many observers believe the Supreme Court's 6-3 conservative supermajority will continue to push the country further to the right, following last summer's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The court's liberal bloc now includes Associate Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson. President Biden appointed her to replace retiring Justice Stephen Breyer. Jackson is the first African-American woman to serve on the bench of the nation's highest court. It's also the first time in history that the court has had four female justices. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.